Whatever you do, don't spend the coins that you see in this video because they could be worth a whole lot more money than you'd imagine. Most people have no idea what their coins are worth. That is my goal to educate those so people don't get scammed and ripped off if they try to sell their coins to a coin shop or a pawn shop, which I highly recommend against pawn shops. No offense to those listening. But the reality is there's a ton of information out there about rare coins. In this video, my goal is to break it down as easy to understand as possible, just so you know exactly what your coins are worth, how to sell them for the most amount of money possible. So on the obvious coins, I won't spend too much time like this one that sold for $1,080. Essentially, this is called a fold over strike error. Somehow during the minting process, the planchet was folded over and then struck on. If you come across a coin like this, it's not damaged. This is a factory error that's worth a lot of money, guys. You want to get it certified by a reputable company like NGC so the buyer knows that it is indeed a genuine coin and not produced in someone's garage. Guys, if you find a coin like this, it's rare. Don't spend it because this one sold for $1,080. This coin sold for $5,040. Essentially, this is a 1974 five cent Jefferson nickel that was accidentally struck on a 1974 Lincoln cent coin graded by NGC, a mint state 65. What you need to know is that some Sometimes the weight of the coin will heavily dictate and show you if the coin was struck on the correct planchet or not. When I say planchet, all I'm really talking about is the piece of metal the coin is struck on. Now I'm not sure exactly how it happened on this one, but to me it looks like possibly a mint employee threw a penny inside of a Jefferson nickel hub and got this error to occur. Now there's a possibility that someone found this out in circulation, which means your pocket change pretty much. Now the last thing you want to do is spend a coin like this because again it sold for five thousand and forty dollars nineteen thousand two hundred dollars for this 1974 one cent lincoln coin so to point out the obvious you can see this coin does not look like the appropriate color now you have to be very careful because there are coins out there that have what's called environmental damage which occurs based on where the coin is stored now if this coin is stored in a harsh condition the metals in the coin can change for the worse and make it look like this. That's not the case here. This coin was struck on a Philippines Centimo planchet, which is aluminum, and it was graded by PCGS at a mint state 61. You can tell that the coin is a uniface, which means there is no reverse on this coin. Another way to tell if you have a rare coin is if the weight of the coin is really off compared to what the coin should typically weigh. Now, please keep in mind that the US Mint has a 10% tolerance rate, meaning there can be a 10% give and take for the weight. So it doesn't have to be exactly on the same weight. But if it's drastically different like this one is, it could be a very rare coin like this coin that was accidentally struck on a Philippines one centimo planchet that sold for $19,200. $1,200 for this no date 25 cent Washington quarter dollar struck on a one cent planchet graded by NGC a mint state 64 brown. This coin weighs 3.1 grams so that is is a huge issue when it comes to if you had a Washington quarter. It needs to weigh much more than that. Here's a great example of a beautiful coin that was struck on the wrong planchet that sold for $1,200. This coin sold for $1,320. Now this 1943 five cent Jefferson nickel may be pretty tough to see what's going on here. This coin was graded by NGC at a very fine 35. Now the reality is that's a very low grade. That means that this coin went out into pocket change. It exchanged many people's hands before someone noticed that something was wrong here. So they picked the coin up. They sent it to the third party company, NGC, to verify what was going on here. NGC did agree that this coin was accidentally struck on a zinc plated steel planchet penny coin. So I love when I see coins like this because it goes to show that it is possible to find a coin like this out in pocket change. Again, if you ever find a coin that weighs incorrectly, this one weighs is 2.8 grams. You're in for a treat because this one little nickel coin sold for $1,320. I won't spend too much time here, but this one also got the lower grade. This one was graded by NGC at an AU details, meaning there was something wrong with the coin. You can see the obverse of the coin was scratched. This one weighs 2.8 grams. Again, this coin was accidentally struck on a steel planchet. This 1943 coin sold for $840. 
$600 for this 1965 one cent coin. This penny was accidentally struck on a 10 cent blank. This is a transitional coin graded by NGC and AU58. Pretty much what you need to know is that if you find a penny and it's looking like this, there's a probability that it was struck in the wrong planchet. As you can see, this one weighs 2.5 grams, which is incorrect for this 1965 Lincoln cent coin. If you come across a coin that's from 1965 and you can see the rim of the coin looks worn down, the weight is wrong, you could be in for a real treat because again, this coin sold for $6,600, $1,800 for this 1964 Lincoln cent coin. Again, not going to spend too much time here. This one weighs 2.2 grams. This one was struck on a clad 10 cent blank. The obverse or front of this coin is severely scratched as described by NGC there with the details. Keep your eyes peeled for the 1964 penny because it could be struck on a wrong planchet. $38,187.50 for this 1943 Lincoln cent coin graded by PCGS at MNC 62. Pretty apparent what's going on here. I won't spend too much time, but essentially this was overstruck on a Cuba one centavo coin. Now you have to be very careful because there are people out there that will see a video like this and they will try to smash a coin with a hammer into each other and make the coin appear to be just like this. The reality is it's very apparent when it comes to the grading companies like PCGS or NGC that can point out and say, hey, this is an altered coin. But the reality is this coin right here is indeed genuine. That's why it's graded by PCGS and MSA 62. Very unique, very obscure. This is something that's not very commonly seen. But if you have a coin like this and it's genuine, get it graded by NGC or PCGS and then sell it because you could be in for a treat just like this person that sold their coin for $38,187. $7.50. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube says you'll definitely enjoy the video on the screen, so click on that video and I'll see you inside.